Hey everybody, welcome down to day 14 of A Fair Way Down and we have reached the beautiful Berg Hill Valley where we have been joined by some wonderful members and we're going to be playing 18 holes here. So far, coming down the country, we started at the very north at Thurso Golf Club. We've traveled 14 days on bike, playing golf every other day. We've raised so much money so far. I think we're almost at 12,000 pounds so far for the British Heart Foundation. If you do want to donate, the link is in the description below. But we also had another theme going on within this trip. We came up north with no clubs in empty bag. And so far, we've managed to collect through donations from subscribers and people who've come to watch some incredible clubs, a fantastic set and we've had more donations today. So we're gonna be going through that using your clubs to try and shoot a decent score. And man, oh man, oh man, do I need help because I've been playing absolute garbage, like proper bottom of the trash can, stinky garbage, like stuff that a badger wouldn't go near that bad. But today it's all gonna change. So the part of Burke Hill Valley is 71. If I shoot that score or under, I'm gonna give myself a big shiny gold medal. If I shoot between 72 and 75, I'm gonna be awarded a silver medal. And if I shoot from 76 to 79, I get a bronze. If I shoot 80 or above, I get nothing. And I am not allowed on the podium of life. Jacob is here with us today. Uh, he has come down to have a watch and He's already been roped into filming as we go get some extra clubs in the bag. Vice have very kindly sent these bad boys. Look at these, these Vice speckled. Uh, they've also sent them to, what, like two, three other clubs? Even I, with my prolific ball losing skills recently, should be okay. Right then, what shall we do off the first? Five iron straight over the top of the marker. Oh, right. Sorry? A shank. That's been my shot shape so far. But no, it's going to be positive. We're going to be okay. Five iron over that marker. First shot after cycling 60 miles through manure and rain. Oh, make contact. Go on. That's in the fairway, right? Yeah. Tough crowd. Why won't they clap a fat toe down the middle of the fairway? I feel horrendous. I feel so bad today. But we're gonna get some food, we're gonna be okay. So 11 golf are based near here. And they have just dropped off that, that is me on a bike. You can actually see the pain in my face as well. They managed to capture that really, really well. And they've got my grips on, look at that. You're not, you're not even got the distance yet. Like if you're gonna be a caddy, like you gotta do a good job. I will do like I'm, not, I'm not gonna let you half ass it. I've got a yardage if you want it. Whoa, 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 <laughs> 116. Thank, thank you. Um, if you see Jacob keep messing up like this, you're calling him. Do not feel like a full swing yet, so I'm going to take 50 degree wedge. I'm just going to do half a swing, chip it down that. Oh, that bacon sandwich is fortifying me in ways I never thought possible. Yeah, that's oh, nice. Oh, there we have some. Yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you. It's just a fairway in green and rag, there's no... Let me just find a, find a hole. No, no big deal. Oh. <laughs> right, right to left, up the hill. Birdie, first hole. Oh, oh that would have been a good start. Wow, the greens were rolling amazing, that one. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, so. sir. Oh, that would have been good, wouldn't it? I, I don't know if it's just um, tiredness or like whatever, but I feel remarkably relaxed considering there's 100 people kind of watching us play, you know, to a standard of probably about 14 handicap a day. So let's go. <laughs> there's a lot of room right. Uh, there's the par three next, second hole, uh, third hole is to the left. So you can, you can go left. Um, uh, right. Right, sorry, yeah. Left is no good, but you can see the pin. Two bunkers at the front. Again, you kind of just want to land it short. Give yourself a wedge in. A par. A million ways to make you fool yourself today. Let's not do any of them. Oh, well, that's so far, right? Yeah, you're fine. Good line in from there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 That'll be on the third fairway. Might even be in one of the bunkers, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that, was, that wasn't going left, was it? No. That was not going left. I always like shrugged it so far out of the toe on the first few swings. I'm not there with the full swing yet. I need to hold food as well. I don't, tr I don't trust you holding food. That's true. <laughs> I'm actually quite hungry. 55 degree. Fresh face. 
87 middle, so did my quick maths, 55 degrees, right, okay. Go, Trip. go, 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 go. Let's get that into the wind a bit. A little bit. That's okay. Oh, well, thanks for telling me now, Caddy. You were over the ball, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> that's, one, that's one thing a caddy should tell you, to think. Wind direction, maybe? I mean, just anything. Okay, okay. Just, just anything. I'll get into the role. He says he always fancies himself as a bit of a caddy, oh, Jake. So far, no rangefinder, no inkling on distances, no idea where the wind's going. At the moment, all he is is a glorified trolley, just carrying the bag. Oh, wow, that why? Fluffy. Oh, yeah. Like that. that is interesting. US Open. <laughs> we have to play like a, a pop shot here. Pop it up, let it release out. Well, it popped up. Yeah. Not out. It was just that tough behind the ball. Yeah, that wasn't a wasn't a lie. I was looking forward to this early. <laughs> I must be honest, I'm struggling a bit because I've had two ham sandwiches and a bacon sandwich. I've not even reached my stomach yet. They're all wiped between there and there. Fortunately, I'm not known to suffer with the indigestion, am I, Kieran? Never happened before in my life. Be a nice time. It's all a really good putt left to right. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We're on. We're on for a course record. What is the course record? I don't know. Anyone know the course record? <laughs> 107 to yeah. the front. Yeah. Okay. I'm well, going to go at a 46 degree mm -hmm. wedge. What we'll do, we'll we'll kind of have a bit of a proper what's in the bag in this video as well, where we'll stop and we'll go through everything. We'll probably do that kind of at the halfway point. 107. I'm thinking just a little chipped wedge. Yep. Wind off the right. Wind off the right. Pitch at the front. Skip to the left. Yeah, keep coming. Nice. Yeah, shot. Shot, peep. Cheers. Oh, so far. Very good. So not embarrassing. <laughs> so this is a absolutely marked increase. It's not meant to rain till later, though, is it? Yeah, Roughly six. Oh, honestly, I'm. I'm really, really bored of being wet. Today was bad as well because I was soaked on that ride. Proper torrential rain and then I kept cycling down these country lanes that all the tractors had been out and I just got covered with poo. There's no other way. I can't, can't really dress it up any other way. Just manured. Right, left to right, up the hill. Let's just drop it in. Come. Go on then. Ooh. Good effort, mate. Yep, yeah, well done. Yes, thank you. Well done. Whipping through. I tell you what, I've, this putter, I, I, my distance control with it Makes it. at Sandy Way wasn't that great, but my line was good. So far today, I've hit every single line, the pace has been absolutely spot on. Greens are rather lovely. Fine. There is a bunker on the, uh, the tree line on the right, there's a bunker on the inside of that on the left. Probably okay. carry about off here, like 220, 230. How far is it this off? Uh, 504, I think. Ooh. So that that marker is good. You should be able to run it out because it once it starts to dog leg, it just gets into like that sort of first cut kind of stuff. Right, okay. So, but left is dead. Right, so at the marker, at the marker. Yep. Keep going. Keep, going. Keep, keep, keep going. keep going. Keep going. Keep, keep going. going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That'll so, be that'll be on the fifth fairway. So far, right, it's okay. Yeah, you could play down that if you want. <laughs> oh wow! Now, fortunately, that was so bad it was okay, but that was a definite early round. Um, lower, my lower back wasn't impressed with the amount of effort I tried to put into that one. Two thirty. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, if you want to be aggressive, or you just lay it up to. <laughs> No, out like boundary. in front of the no, out of bounds, really, out of bounds left left of, the, of oh, that right. hole. Two thirty, we're a little bit down downwind into him. Two thirty, need a little bit of a draw. Well, I could go pretty straight over with the seven wood actually. It's a nice soft, smooth one. Don't go crazy. Did that come out? It hammered around a lot. I didn't actually. I didn't. I did actually see you come out that one. Though. We'll see a provisional think, just in case. Yeah. Oh, you did. All oh, right, okay. Oh. So, 
or you've got to go down the, there. The thing is, 156 middle, this bit here is pretty sparse. Okay. And then there is a clearing after it. Okay. So if I go... If you think you can get through that, then... Well, if I go 7 iron, which is going to be like 165, judging okay. that the trees are going to take a little bit off it. Okay. Just need to make sure I get a good contact. You can see a gap. A really small gap. It's come out great, but... Yeah, on the green. Yeah, on the green, yeah. Is that a Sevy moment? Is that a moment, yeah. I'm just going to play it cool, so I'm going to slide my glove off and just put it in my back pocket and just act like it's a regular Friday. What are you seeing? Just a whisper right to left, I think. I'm not going to lie, I'm slightly light-headed. Dipping down and then getting back up like that. Ah. Not went, bad pace. I went quite a long way. Yeah. Left quick, but from where you I'll were. Know, I'll take probably yeah, take exactly, the part yeah. at the end, I think. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Ah. It's gotta close your eyes at this it sometimes. <laughs> If you if you if you land it just short of the bunker, you still got you still have a short wedge, uh, short iron. Uh, okay. It's up to you if you want to put the driver. Yeah, that, I don't think I'm quite fully loose yet. Yeah. I've got a just, tea just, bag, gents. I don't know. There are some tea somewhere in that bag. But... Yeah, just find a fairway. As long as it stays out of it. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, right. yeah, you're fine. Actually went quite straight that. Yeah. Is that like knuckling a bit? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, okay. So what I'm going to try and do because like last few days, last few days, last few. How long have we been doing this for now? Two weeks. Oh, two weeks. Yeah. Last two weeks, my golf. I've been trying to play a fade, and it's it's been fading, but it's been slicing. So what I'm going to do is get a lot more rounded. Just try and hit it a lot straighter, a lot straighter. So this is one thirty to the middle. Ball bump feet catch. I was going to go with that last tree of the three. Yeah. And if it stays yeah, yeah, yeah. there, not the worst thing in the world. Just a wedge. Yeah, just sit. Yeah, you got a decent kick there. Kick that that'll, that'll be all right. Thank you. That'll be okay. Ah, oh, that. Just slightly above your feet, maybe? Just tugged mm, it around or? I'm not sure. Well, that, that one there off the tee, that was. Similar feeling the swing, that went slightly left. Yeah. Should I just Victor Hovel a bit? So I feel like it's a bit more round. And then just come in. Aim a little bit to the right, and just like it magically ends up next to the green. Target, flag. Oh. Kind of sort of like a peak in the middle of this green. It's gonna, you gotta go up to it and then the other side of it will come down. It's gonna obviously drop to the right. Yeah, just at the end on there. Yeah. I'm saying that. Uh, Ow, please. I didn't know this would drop it to the right until he said, so that might be his first proper contribution there. So it doesn't move right though. Stay on the green. <laughs> oh, it's downhill. Off the right, yeah. <laughs> I, can't. I didn't get a luxury go past, I suppose. One advantage of it. So just don't do anything embarrassing like degreen it. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Technically, that's a one put green as well. Well done. Uh, there's something about like that put, the, the pace of these greens is lovely it's just like such a nice hole in fact so positional this one with par five but as you can see you might not be able to see actually there is a fairway there i'm going to go at the mark post high but just trust it can get a bit of a kick on and then hopefully get home in two then have some very good par put so far today but... it's too short of it Sounded a bit woody, but does anybody know it's not like the ball flight on it? It's, it's so like, knuckle. Yeah. Like, there's hardly any spin. If I can actually get it hit in the fairway, <laughs> might be an absolute missile. Nice gap, don't it? There we go. Uh, so yeah, I managed to come all the way through those trees. Didn't get a lucky bounce. Just gonna chip it out into the fairway. Hopefully give myself a club in, just an eight iron. Yeah, well, that's so, well, it's the most accurate shot I've hit today, so you know, look, you know, look on those positives, don't you? Right, so aim at the how. Two, three, seven, sorry. Yep. Ah. 
Go on then. Go on. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just down in a hollow there, but you're over. <laughs> wow. Took a nice bounce. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of wind up there. That's all I thought. <laughs> all right, 60 degree. Uh, yeah, this is a... Are you going to go up or...? Yeah, I'm just going to try and land it on the fringe, I think. Yeah, that's just yeah. it. Because the middle of that fringe is sloping down as well, so it will kick on. Float up there and dribble on down. Yeah, shot, mate. Yeah. It's kind of difficult to keep my emotions in check because, again, that's like a, a really good shot. Not really, really. I'll put it down. Everyone watching isn't really going to know the emotions that are flowing through my body until after the round because I'm a professional athlete. Now, it's for another I'm unlikely part. If this doesn't go in, I'm going to get in now. Left edge. It's, it's, it's actually quite a straight bar. It won't break that much. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's a tall pro. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what. Well done. Scrambling one. Well. Yeah, I'll have to try and get the shot scope stats for after about the uh, amount of feet hold today. I think so far that's at 6,400 feet of puts hold. It's been pretty good. found something, I don't know what it is, but it's not gone away. Yeah, thank you. So these are the clubs that I put in my bag today at Burghill Valley. We've had donated maybe about 60, 70 clubs right now. So we need to go through them fully before I reveal my final completed set down at Mullion when I face my toughest opponent so far on this journey. But I'm really happy with what I've got so far. There's some just really interesting stuff in here. It's like a proper, I don't know, memory fest in many respects. Now, first of all, I've got two drivers because why have one driver when you can have two? Now, pure fairway finder around this golf course, we have the Cobra ZL on core. And this is a 9.5 degrees. We've got a regular shaft, motor shaft. The head looks very, very forgiving. It's just like big and bulbous and you know you're never gonna hit it that far off line. To be honest, it's a little bit too soft in the shaft. There's a little bit too much loft on here if I was searching for like a massive drive, but around this course, we're just gonna be finding fairways and that's the most important thing. If I ever wanna get a bit of distance, I've got the eight degree warbird. That's right, hear it cry across the valleys of Herefordshire. Um, probably not my most consistent club because the head is very small. This is the size of probably an oversized three wood right now. But if I ever need to whisk it far, this is the one that I'm actually gonna pull out. Now I've got a multitude of fairway woods here. We have a tight lies strong three wood. Now this is at 13 degrees. This is what I've been using predominantly off the tee. This is an absolute beauty of a club. Any Titleist fairway wood that you can get your hands on, boy, oh boy, oh boy, make sure you do. The 910F, just a very consistent little seven wood. The Maverick 3, this is if I ever need to find 
any fairways. Again, this is one that can maybe go in and out of the bag. I've not been using this a lot around the courses that I've played, but it's a useful weapon to have. This thing is very much just in for decoration. This is a Ping 1i iron. Look at the size of the head, but it has a jumbo max grip on, and it's been, to be honest, truly awful. So that's why it's not staying in the bag, but it's fun to have a really tiny one iron in. This I've had delivered today, an 11-4 hybrid. I've been using this off the tee. It's got a pretty decent kind of KBS shaft in here. And it's also got, if you can see just on the toe here, a fair way down. And I've also got a few more logo stuff up that 11 have delivered today. So I just want to say a huge thank you. And also a huge thank you for the donation that the staff have made at 500 quid, because that has helped really pump us up. Iron wise, AP2s, now a completed set. I've got a fully functioning seven iron in there. This is like the, the toughest part of this set, really, is having a really good set of irons. Pitching wedge, 46 degrees. Also delivered today from 11 as well. CNC milled, but I have to stay the star of the show. The unexpected miracle of Burghill Valley is this bad boy, the M Craft putter from Mizuna. The biggest shock about this putter that I've had so far is that I've actually been able to hit the center of it alarmingly consistently, which doesn't always happen. So we are one over par after a birdie and two bogeys. Nine pars on the front line it was so nice. It's getting so comfortable now to ruin it and ruin it with a birdie. So this is Joke Index one. Um, line is basically that bunker in the back, which is 270. I don't think I can get there with this driver. If it drifts a bit, that's not the uh, end of the world. Dog leg left to right. Mm -hmm. Come on, wind, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, land soft. It bounced. It bounced, not sure if it's kicked in or not. Well, you can drop there if it's water, oh, but left. we'll have a look, maybe. Oh, that's painful. That's really painful. We'll find it. <laughs> Might be wet, but we'll find it. Uh, don't think I can go for the green. Um, no. Oh, and here we are, back in familiar territory. Um, in amongst the frogs and the water and the pain and misery. Um, thinking. <laughs> You've got to try um, and get it out there as well so you're not blocking yourself off for the third. Just got to close your eyes and trust it, don't you? Well, well it's out. You're out. They were a tricky one, because I had to hit over that bank and then not hit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into those trees. So, you got a choice here of either just punting it out into there, getting it to about 150 and hitting in, or it's a massive slinger. How far away are we? 207, middle. It, I mean, it'd be a Seve shot, but... I'd, I'd, it, yeah. Have I got the physical capability? As long as you turn it over. There's no houses over that hedge, is there? No. Right. How far is it, 200? 207 to the middle. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Yeah. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? It'll be all right. Is there any, what, what's left? Is it just trees? Yeah. Ah. Well. Yeah, that'll be all right. That was definitely not the right shot to play. Nah. There, was no, there was no way. On no, 10 see, to the two, two tier, so if you can try and just get it behind it. Come on. again, also one of them stinky pins just on yeah, the front of it. Yeah, I So I was hoping, I was having such a lovely warm welcome, I was hoping for the greenkeeper to be extra super duper nice to me today. He's the only one who's not a fan. <laughs> he's not a subscriber. Right, so 110 to the back, and to yeah. win, that's basically the number. Yes, off the, off the left a bit. 56 degree, pretty full one really. Well, get on the top tier. Nope. That was a horrendous shot. This hole is a bit of a... Oh, okay. Up and down. Let's get a double. Walk off there. Three over. Plenty of chances. Birdies, birdies, birdies. Up and down then. We'll just chip it in, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that'd be great. Chipping bogey. <laughs> a bit right to left. That slope. Yeah, good yeah, job. Yeah, right. Grab. 
I went for it a bit. It's okay. Leave yourself downhill putts again. See this falling to the right? Um, maybe a touch. No, and not a lot. I'm no. inside the hole. Straight. I knew it was straight. No, lucky. Oh, clear my head. What is it again, sorry, Jacob? One, uh, 175 middle. 175 middle. I'm going to go six. I think the wind's into a touch. Right, come on. Be good. Be good. Go on. Go on. It got all over it. Go on. Yes, great shot. Shot, mate. Cheers. Sure. Great shot. Cheers. Here we go. White squirrel, acorns, all that kind of jazz. Uh, all right, it's in the side, right. Yes, thank go. you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit, a bit more forceful than I intended. Kind of losing control of my extremities. It's just kind of flopping around all over the place. So that puts us back to three over, I think. Yeah, three over. A few holes to go. But if we get back to level, that'd be incredible. That might be up there with my like Usain Bolt world record. Uh, you know, landed on the moon. Yeah, first solo flight around the world. You know, that, that kind of level of achievement, I'd say. Right, we are 15. Yeah, we're getting to the end now. We are getting close. Uh, just talk us through, Jacob, do things magic-wise. Yeah, words. par four, 408 off the way, so it's 431, but we're off a bit further forward off the back tees. There is a little bit of space to the left, if necessary, but I know you won't go there, Pete, you're absolutely fine. Fairly self-explanatory. If you can try and take it over those trees, just with a little bit of a fade, find yourself in the middle, you'll have about 140, 150 yards in. If you take it left, you're in the trees and you're down the other fairway, so. Okay. Just hit, just hit the fairway, really. Just hit the fairway. Yeah. Okay. Wacky ball. You've driven it well today. Yep. God, that driver's so spinny. It goes up there, doesn't it? Yeah. That'll do the... That was so high. <laughs> That'll do. That's absolutely fine. You're going to have about like 165, 170. We're not doing traces, are we? Yeah. <laughs> Well, they're for decoration. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant that one. No. So, 180 back, 170 middle, 157 front. What was the last one? Huh? What was the last one? 175? 175 middle. Again, tiny bit false fronty, but not massively. Okay. It will just stop into it. Can't really run it. Bit like more. I say, the green actually does go quite a bit back. Right, okay. So... Yeah, I'll just had a bit more cut on it, I think. Okay. Yep. Be the club. Yeah, goal shot, mate. Yeah. Oh, we carry one. We're doing. Where's it going? Right to left. A fair amount as well, right? Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, it's up, up a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit uphill. So as it slows, it's going to swim more. It's late as well. Like here as well, it's going to. And keep on swinging. Yeah. Stay up, stay up. Good roll. Oh, yeah, that looked really good, that. It did, yeah. It's kind of like a flat break. <laughs> bah, bah, back on the path. <laughs> Delighted. <laughs> Tricky one. Tricky one. But it's all right. It's, all right. it's that water that was on coming down the par five on the front. Right. Is now on the on this hole on the right. So if you can hit it, if you can hit it down the centre, then you're perfect. You just kind of really just got to avoid that that push, that fade across into the water. But a driver or yeah i think so oh, okay. i think the way you've been hitting it 385 off the backs from here so if you want to allow it to just fade off it you kind of want to just set it off just outside those people and let it come across right okay do you know what i mean yeah yeah i got you yeah mm -hmm. very good mate very good. Oh, I just 
keep putting these green, these So it's one, one fifty middle, one six six back. One six that, six. That sh stuff at the back is like quickly after the back. Right. So you got it. You can't. But there's that bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that that back portion is kind of a little bit white. So there's more to it than you think. From here, you can't really see much of it. Okay. So what are you thinking? Just a soft eight. Yeah. One six six. Yeah. Okay. Is that middle? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's fine. Such a massive push. Kick off that slope. Not that way. <sighs> Maybe. Just a push. It was a bit of a soft bounce, so but yeah, it'll be alright. I just yeah. just pushed it. Yeah, there's not a lot to it really. It's just it's gonna run out a bit, isn't it? Yes, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Might have landed on the fringe, I think. Tricky because yeah. can't land it on the down slope. If anything, it's just just on. Fly it up a little bit. I can land it on the green, so I might do that. Try the club head past the hands. Just flop it on there. Is it there? Yep, very good, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Was that how you planned it? Wait, no, of course not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's not exactly. Exactly. But like, we're not going to tell anybody that. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody watches the video and like, here's how I actually planned it through. <laughs> <laughs> This is the real reason why uh, PJ plays don't want to be mic'd up, by the way. Because they'll know how often <laughs> they don't hit the shot that they want. Yep. Good up and down, mate. Cheers, thank you. Very good. Ah, yeah, one of my best chips of the round. Just in case you want to change the edit after. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen, you need a bit of luck. You do need a bit of luck. And the added advantage was, on that kind of chip, if I had a play that had a wanted to, fine. If it's a short, down slope, fine. It's one of those situations on the course where you can get away with it, rather than having to be super precise. The more right you can go, the easier like that shot into the green is, so. Just uh, more angle. Yeah. Catch all that, Kia? Fantastic. You'd be shocked to hear it's a wacky whack, big whack down the middle of the panel. That's, that's, <laughs> to round it up. To round, <laughs> long and short of it. Yeah. All right, come Just on, Brian. Let's straight. Let's say another fairway. So high. <laughs> so high. Wow. It's good, though. Yeah. A little bit downwind, so I'll push it on a touch. Yeah, you're fine. Not getting a lot of run off these, surprisingly. Nope. <laughs> high loft, high spin. All fairway of finder. But it's like a very solid, like, 250 fairway finder, so it's all I could ask for today around this course. That pin is pretty much in the middle of the green. Okay. It's middle at back. I'm thinking just a little nine. Okay. Wind's behind again, isn't it? So. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Skylight on the right. Mm-hmm. Tiny draw. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Just stay there. Yeah, you got it back there. Yeah, we are. Very nice. All right. We'll birdie this, and then the last is drivable. Ooh. Back to level. Yep. <laughs> there we go. That's half of it done. There we go. Wow. That's half of it done. That's you know that? just a just absolute baller. How many puts has that? He was saying, that puts hot. Yeah. That puts hot. Yeah. Puts is hot. Yeah. And then he was like, ah bush back you can see is kind of like right edge of the green right. that tree in the background on that line the trunk is where you want to be right is dead but it does go around more to the right left you've got the first and okay. a bit more okay so we'll give this a whack and see what happens i can't get there with the cobra so no got the eight degrees no, so there's, there are there. three bunkers around the front so it is protected It's something. It hits something, yeah. We should be. We should find it. Ah. Yeah, should find it. God, I think that would have been good distance-wise as well. I'm thinking more like your shot is actually blocked off by a tree rather than you could kind of, you could get some kind of like, you know, chop down on here. Mm -hmm. Well, I can get through that gap. That's what I'm thinking. Like, if you can get it onto there, give yourself a, try and give yourself a putt. Yeah. 
Set, set, set. Oh. Oh. Unlucky, man. So close. <laughs> Unlucky, man. Hopefully it's rolled in. <laughs> yeah, you want it in the middle, don't you? Right, up and down. So I'm a two over. Up and down for silver medal is what I need. Ball's rolled into the middle of the bunker. Not the easiest bunker in the world, but could have been a lot worse. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's, you kind of want to, you're kind of going to have to fly it. Yeah, I was going to, there's a little bit of sand behind, so I'm going to land it fringe, I think. Yeah? Just let it pop out. Yeah, just to the right of where that leaf is. Ah. Yeah, just slowed down in it a touch. wasn't wasn't my best effort to be honest, but that birdie's giving me a little bit of a cushion. How about we finish with a no put green <laughs> on the stats? Do you want in or out? Uh, out, yes. I think it's going to move. I think at the end it's going to go that way. Okay. Just a smidge. And me and these I'm just thinking today what it's going to do like off the, at the start. The speed it's going. Yeah, it's going to right edge. Been doing you no wrong all day. It really went off the fringe. Yeah, it can't have been not that way by yeah. the grass. It's fine, a bogey. That finished me. Three over. Finish me? Three over. Three over. Yeah, that's not bad. I will honestly. Yeah. Three over. Silver medal. I'm yeah. gonna take that. There you go. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, so much. So back at Burger Valley this morning, stayed uh, just around the corner at uh, Jacob's house. So we need to start from here again. Not a massive cycle uh, today, I think it's only about 40 miles. All I'm hoping for is just no rain. There's a bit of wind today, which is a pain in the ass to be honest when you're going into it, but as long as it doesn't start smashing it down, that would be a huge bonus. I've, I've been feeling over the last few days like a constant growing fatigue, tiredness, and I could understand why when I'm looking at the uh, stats now. So yeah, we'll see if I can physically make it the rest of the way down to Land's End. But, short day today.